Hey, Stephen Smith here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today. And that word is from the Proverbs of Solomon. There are five different Proverbs that we can go to in the third chapter that actually help us to live our lives. If we follow these things that Solomon shows us, then we can see that the tasks that were, that were given are actually things that help our lives to become better. It's really a great opportunity for us to be able to learn, grow, and live through what the Word of God tells us. Let me, let me share this first example with you. This is Proverbs 3, 1 and 2. It says, My child, never forget the things that I've taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you'll live many years, and your life will be satisfying. Isn't that awesome? If we follow these things, if we follow these commands and put them in our hearts, then we'll live many years and our lives will be satisfying. You know, we can take that and apply these to this next four Proverbs, and we'll continue to grow in that, that area as well. Check this out. This is Proverbs 3, 3, and 4. It says, Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with God, with both God and people, and you'll earn a good reputation. That's huge for us because if I know that I follow loyalty and kindness, then I know that I'm going to find favor with God, with man, and I'll earn a good reputation in every single thing that I do. Well, here's the third one. This is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do, and he will show you which path to take. So all I have to do is trust in the Lord, right? And then if I depend on, my, depend on him and not on my own understanding, then when I seek his will, he will show me which path to take. It's a matter of seeking God first and putting all other things behind us. The next proverb is Proverb 3, 7, and 8, and it tells us this. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and you'll have strength for your bones. This is our promise for, our, for a strengthened and an improved life. It tells us that all we have to do is not rely on our own wisdom, but instead fear the Lord and turn away from evil. The results in our body will be phenomenal. We'll find healing and we'll also have strength in our bones. Well, the last one is Proverbs 3, 9, and 10. It tells us this, Honor the Lord with your wealth and the best part of everything you produce. Then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine. This is huge for us to understand that if I commit what God has given to me back to him, then he's going to bless me even more. I'm not asking for donations. I'm not asking for anything like that. But if you find that you're a giver and that you give to other things and to other good causes, you're going to find that those things are going to come back to you in a way that you've never imagined possible. God wants to bless you when he sees that you're a blesser. All five of these Proverbs are all great opportunities for us to be able to grow, for us to learn, and for us to actually interact with other Christians here in this world. So why not take the opportunity to read through Proverbs? You know, there's 31 chapters. You could read one each week, each and every day of the month, and you'll still be blessed every single time that you do it. I've been doing it for the last 10 years. It's made a huge difference in my life. I bet it'll change yours too. Well, here's the word that I believe that the Lord has for you today. My instructions are simple and they bring life to all who obey them. I want healthy and alive, but many don't listen to me or follow my instructions. Teach them that they may have a full life. That's right. God wants you to have a full life. Well, I hope that this post has been a blessing for you. You're more than welcome to share it on Facebook. You can go to our YouTube page and see all of our different recordings. You can even go to our webpage at awfg.today and also see all the pages. You can share this with others, and you can even go through and look at the blog and see the transcripts for each of these messages. Well, God bless you, and I hope to hear from you soon.